All right, folks, so we've got the new um, i5-10400 assembled onto our uh, test bench. And we've got to make a few more connections to get it uh, up and running. But uh, we've got two sticks of RAM in it. Got a couple of uh, solid states. There's one hiding under here in this one. And uh, yeah, we got, we're good to go except for uh, the rest of the connections. So this is on my, uh, my test bench slash uh, mini ITX uh, computer that I never use. And uh, we're making use of it now, baby. I'll tell you what. All right, so um, let me go make these connections and we're gonna fire this thing up for the first time. All right, folks, so uh, test bench is ready to go. Um, this is almost as exciting as watching one of those big name channels as they fire up these uh, really expensive rigs. We, um, you know, don't have a lot of money on this channel, but we spend a lot of money, so um, go figure. Now, because this is the uh, i5-10400, we can get away with not putting the graphics card on here, which I think for the initial startup, we'll do that. So we're going to plug in HDMI. We're going to use this 4K monitor over here, and uh, i got to get some power to this thing. So that is the... Uh, one of the few things that we have left to do. Um, good chance that uh, this thing will not recognize the uh, the Wi-Fi right off the bat. So one more thing I need to do is get my antennas out. Now folks, uh, just remember when you are starting up a computer for the first time, you don't necessarily have to put your solid states in like I did. Matter of fact, I recommend not doing that because you want to get this thing to boot to BIOS. If you can get it to boot to BIOS, you will eventually get your uh, computer to boot through to the operating system. Now with the RAM, uh, I would suggest one stick at first. Don't need to put both in there. If one of those is not put in correctly or is bad, um, it's not going to boot up. Now this motherboard, I believe, has uh, easy debug, which is pretty awesome, right? So uh, it will help you if you screw up. Now on the other... Uh, the other aspect, um, since this is not a CPU that ends in F, we didn't put the graphics card on to first start it up, okay? So uh, all things that will make your life easier. Now we'll go through our checklist. CPU cooler is uh, indeed installed and connected. 24 pin connector, we definitely need that. Now this motherboard has um, three sets of four pin connectors and uh, in this case this is not a CPU that we need to be trying to overclock right so uh, we can get away with only uh, two by four in there so that aspect is good to go now our uh, front panel connectors you uh, need those basically to power this up right Though if you don't, you could get that going with a uh, flathead screwdriver. Uh, I've got a video where I showed how to do that. Now the other stuff in the case you don't need right away. I didn't need to hook up that USB 3.0 connector. I didn't need to do the USB 2.0s. A lot of stuff on here that you can get away with not connecting right off the bat. Alright, so that said, let's go ahead and uh, fire this up. Before we do that though, Let's make sure our switch is in the right spot. It is not. And now, hopefully I can find the button over here. All right, we've got power, folks. Um, that's a good sign. Now, we do have a, uh, a light on over here. That is not a good sign. Um, okay. The one light disappeared. Now we got a different light. So I have, let me turn this off. You guys can't even see it. Okay. Um, so it's starting with that one. And then it is gone. So let's go over here and see if we've indeed got this on the, the screen. Um, of course, it's not on. 
Nothing like working with real professionals on this channel, right? Okay, so, um, boom, folks, there we go. It's firing up for the first time. And um, I used, I cheated, I gotta admit. I used a solid state that already has operating system on it. And you can see right there that uh, we're already booting to uh, Windows, um, which is pretty cool. So I'll go back and actually uh, in another video, uh, we'll take a look at the BIOS for the first time in here. All right, so this is a lot easier when you don't have a 43 inch monitor. Um, so we did make it into Windows and uh, this is a really good sign folks I'm gonna go down over here you can see this is a uh, this motherboard does have Wi-Fi um, I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Wi-Fi and uh, I'm gonna log into my Wi-Fi and then I'm gonna go get the drivers right so stupid me comes to Hawaii stuck here for months and months and I leave behind my blu-ray drive um, so I can't even uh, download all these drivers luckily because I'm using another MSI uh, motherboard a lot of or excuse me a solid-state drive that was uh, hooked up to a um, previously an MSI motherboard uh, has a lot of the drivers that I need and obviously it's uh, it's working already and uh, that is amazing. Do you see that? We're already logged into the Wi-Fi since I'm reusing this. <laughs> oh my God. How about that, folks? Um, that's incredible. So, you know, over time, this thing will uh, figure out what it's got in it, update it, and we'll, we'll be good to go. But it uh, looks like we can get on the Internet. We are indeed on the Internet, folks. Um, we're on America's soon-to-be favorite YouTube channel. We gotta work on those subscribers, folks. Uh, that's pretty weak. So, yeah, I haven't uh, got a lot of tension stuff we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna have to redo all these Fortnite videos. Oh my God, which is good, because if you guys know me, I need the practice, right? Lots and lots of practice. And uh, a lot of Happy Father's Day stuff's gonna be coming up, but uh, so, here's a little video about me talking about what's going to be on the channel in June. It's all about the 10th gen, right? Uh, so hopefully we'll get a bunch of those in here. And uh, a lot of great stuff on the channel. Um, and so we are, uh, we're working on it, baby. But uh, here's the motherboard. Uh, so there's an unboxing out there. I'll have a link below for that. And uh, that's about it. This is uh, the beach I was on earlier today. I love this beach. Best beach in Hawaii. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, let's go in here. So you see there's the motherboard. And eventually I need to find out, is that the most up-to-date BIOS? I'm thinking it isn't because, uh, you know, whenever they put out new stuff like this, they uh, have a tendency to... Uh, you know, not um, not have the have their stuff all updated. So here you go. Here's the processor, i5 10400, and uh, voila. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. 